In a society that often judges based on outward appearances, it takes immense bravery to embrace significant change. This video introduces young heroes who've courageously chosen the path of surgical transformation, not just for aesthetic reasons, but often due to medical necessities. Their stories, filled with resilience and a quest for acceptance, shine a light on the impact of physical appearance in our society. Let's delve into the touching stories of 15 kids, transformations of 15 kids who had extreme plastic surgery. Number 15. Libby Coleman Libby Coleman is a kid who suffers from a rare genetic disorder that impacts bone development, leading to symptoms such as joint dislocations at birth, which can affect the hips, elbows, knees, and other flexible joints. Individuals with Larsen syndrome often have unique physical characteristics, including a distinctive facial appearance, hands, fingers, and feet with square-shaped fingertips. Diagnostic x-rays typically reveal small, extra bones in the wrists and ankles. The syndrome is characterized not only by its physical manifestations, but also by its potential complications, which can include short stature, hearing loss, and an abnormal curvature of the spine. This curvature can result in weakness or even paralysis in the arms or legs. Larsen syndrome is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern, meaning a single copy of the altered gene in each cell is sufficient to cause the disorder. In Libby's specific case, the condition led to dislocated knees and elbows, a sight that was heart-wrenchingly painful for anyone to witness. The physical agony and challenges Libby endured from such a young age underscore the severity of Larsen syndrome. Yet the narrative takes a turn towards hope as it underscores the advancements in medical treatments available for those affected. Treatment for Larsen syndrome is tailored to the individual's symptoms. Orthopedic surgery is commonly employed to address joint defects, effectively correcting dislocations and improving mobility and function. For facial abnormalities, plastic surgery can offer significant improvements, helping individuals achieve a more typical appearance and, importantly, boosting their self-esteem and quality of life. The Coleman family's journey took a pivotal turn upon their move to the United States, where they sought advanced medical care for Libby. Through surgical intervention, Libby experienced what her parents described as perfect healing, a testament to the skill and possibilities within modern medicine. The transformation and relief Libby experienced post-surgery are profound. Number 14. Artyom Aristakisian Artyom Aristakisian's journey into the world was marked by a unique and profound challenge. Unlike the subtle birthmarks that many of us carry, which often require a keen eye to discern, Artyom was born with his body covered in birthmarks across 80% of his skin. This striking feature set the stage for a life that would demand extraordinary courage and resilience, not only from Artyom, but also from his loving family. From the moment of his arrival, the odds seemed stacked against him. The hospital where he was born initially advised his parents to consider giving him up, indicating the severity of his condition. Artyom's birthmarks were not just a cosmetic anomaly, they carried a heightened risk of developing skin cancer, further compounding the concerns for his well-being. Despite the dire warnings and the uncertain future, Artyom's parents stood unwavering in their decision to bring their son home. They faced the reality of Artyom's condition head-on, determined to provide him with the love and care he deserved. The birthmarks, medically known as Nevis birthmarks, presented as oval patches of raised, dark-colored skin, enveloping a significant portion of his body. The revelation of Artyom's condition came as a complete surprise to his parents at his birth, accompanied by a bleak outlook on his life expectancy. The rarity of his situation was underscored by the fact that Beyond the skin, Artyom also had nevus birthmarks on his brain, leading to occasional seizures, an added layer of complexity to his medical care. Moreover, Artyom was diagnosed with spina bifida, necessitating a critical 90-minute surgical procedure early in his life. This operation, while crucial, meant a painstaking five-day wait for recovery before his parents could reunite with their son. This period of separation, filled with anxiety and hope, ultimately led to a poignant homecoming as Artyom was introduced to his siblings. The initial curiosity and questions from his siblings about the chocolate on his face soon gave way to understanding and a profound sense of protectiveness. Number 13. Michi 
Number B. In Japan, as in many parts of the world, beauty standards can be stringent and deeply ingrained in societal norms. These standards often influence personal and family decisions, sometimes leading to actions as significant as undergoing plastic surgery. For Miki, this societal pressure was brought directly into her home, influenced heavily by her mother's belief in conforming to these beauty ideals. Miki was just a teenager when her mother, Ruchi, decided that she should undergo plastic surgery. The goal was to align Miki's appearance more closely with Japan's beauty standards, including procedures like double eyelid surgery, one of the most common cosmetic surgeries in East Asia. This decision wasn't sparked by Miki's personal desire for change, but rather her mother's conviction that this would improve her daughter's prospects for success and happiness. Miki was told that her eyes were too narrow, and it seemed like she was glaring at people convincing her that she needed the surgery. The journey to the operating room was filled with mixed emotions for Miki. On one hand, there was the natural apprehension about surgery and its risks. On the other, a deep-seated desire to please her mother and meet societal expectations. Miki's operation, which should have taken 20 minutes, took two hours, and the anesthetic didn't work either. Plastic surgery for minors is legal in Japan, so long as they have parental consent. Number 12. Logan Hanna The next kid on our list is Logan Hanna, a young boy whose life at just 12 years old was overshadowed by the undue attention his ears attracted. School became a battleground where Logan faced unkind nicknames like Elephant Ears, a moniker that deeply affected his happiness and self-esteem. Desperate for a solution, Logan attempted to hide his protruding ears under the guise of long hair, yet this temporary fix could not shield him from the internal struggle he faced. Recognizing the toll it was taking on their son, Logan's parents sought the expertise of Dr. Steve Bird, a renowned plastic surgeon based in Dallas known for his skill in autoplasty, the surgical procedure designed to pin back protruding ears. The procedure itself was a meticulously executed two-hour endeavor, dedicating an hour of precision work to each ear. The unveiling of Logan's new appearance a week post-surgery was a moment filled with anticipation and hope. As the bandages were removed, the transformation was immediately evident. For the first time in years, Logan was able to look in the mirror and genuinely feel joy in his appearance. His simple yet profound affirmation saying he looked good marked a monumental shift in Logan's self-perception a sentiment he had been unable to express for the majority of his young life. Number 11. Connie Lloyd This is the story of Connie Lloyd, a young girl who came into the world with what many would describe as a clown nose due to a benign tumor that enveloped her nose and colored it a vivid red. The challenges Connie faced went beyond mere aesthetics. She endured harsh judgment and name-calling from others who couldn't look past her distinctive nose. Connie's journey began even before she was born, with a prenatal scan revealing a shadow on her nose at 26 weeks, causing concern for her parents. However, this worry seemed unfounded when Connie was born without any visible signs of the condition, bringing a temporary sigh of relief to her family. This respite was short-lived, as a red mark appeared on her nose within 24 hours, expanding rapidly to cover and grow beyond the surface. By the time Connie was a month old, the mark had grown to one and a half inches in diameter, not just externally, but internally as well. This led to a diagnosis of hemangioma, a benign tumor that posed significant health risks, including the potential for life-threatening bleeding from even minor scratches or bruises. Initial attempts to halt the tumor's growth with propranolol, a medication typically used for heart conditions, were unsuccessful leaving Connie's parents grappling with a seemingly incurable condition and the terrifying prospect of their daughter facing serious harm. Amidst this despair, Connie's mother embarked on a relentless quest for a solution, refusing to accept that nothing could be done. Her perseverance paid off when she encountered a surgeon with expertise in correcting facial disfigurements. This surgeon offered hope not just in words but in action, performing a surgery that successfully removed the tumor from Connie's nose. The operation transformed Connie's life, leaving behind only a small scar, a minor trade-off for the enormous benefits it brought. Number 10. Gage Berger 
Gageberger spent the first six years of his life under a shadow cast by his distinctive ear shape, earning him the unkind nickname Elf Ears from his peers. This unwanted attention led Gage to withdraw socially, preferring solitude over the prospect of school and friendships, fearing further ridicule. The young boy's struggle was not just emotional. It manifested in actions like trying to alter his ear's appearance manually, and an unconscious habit of touching his ears during moments of distress, signaling a deep-seated issue linked directly to his physical appearance. Recognizing their son's profound distress, Gage's parents embarked on a journey to find a solution that could offer him relief from the relentless bullying. Their search led them to the concept of cosmetic ear pinning surgery, a procedure typically reserved for older individuals but considered appropriate for children in cases like Gage's. The opportunity for change came through Dr. Stephen Mobley of the Mobley Foundation for Charitable Surgery, based in Salt Lake City, Utah. The foundation, known for providing free cosmetic surgeries to school-aged children facing bullying, offered a beacon of hope for Gage and his family. With the full support and consent of Gage, who was eager for the transformation, the family approached Dr. Mobley, who after careful consideration, deemed Gage a suitable candidate for the procedure. Undergoing the surgery at just six years old, Gage experienced a two-hour operation under local anesthesia, with his parents and a beloved stuffed tiger, Tigy by his side for support. The unveiling of Gage's new ears, just two days post-surgery, was a moment of pure joy. The reflection in the mirror showcased not just a physical transformation, but a pivotal turning point in Gage's life. His radiant smile upon seeing his new appearance was a testament to the profound impact of the surgery. Returning to school, Gage's newfound confidence was immediately apparent. He eagerly shared with his parents how he had not only participated actively in school activities, but had also formed new friendships, a stark contrast to his life before the surgery. Number 9. Milagro Seron. The tale of Milagro Seron, affectionately known as the Little Mermaid, is one that seems to leap from the pages of a fairy tale into the realm of medical marvels. Unlike the fictional mermaids of lore, Milagros was born into a reality that few can imagine. Her legs were fused together, extending from her thighs down to her ankles, presenting a unique challenge from the very start of her life. Determined to grant Milagros a chance at a more conventional life, medical professionals embarked on a groundbreaking journey. Initially, the surgical team set their sights on separating Milagros's legs up to her knees. However, the surgery surpassed all expectations, allowing for the complete separation of her legs. This successful procedure marked the beginning of a long and arduous road to recovery and rehabilitation. Following the operation, the doctors faced a new challenge, ensuring Milagros could move her newly separated legs without causing damage during the healing process. For a period ranging from five to ten days, her legs were carefully bound together to safeguard the delicate surgical outcome. With cautious optimism, the medical team began the process of flexing Milagros's knees, nurturing the hope that within two years, she might take her first independent steps. Yet the path to mobility was not straightforward. An additional surgery was required to reconstruct her hip area fully, a vital step towards achieving the ultimate goal of walking. Milagros's condition extended beyond the fusion of her legs, impacting her reproductive, digestive, and other internal organs, a testament to the complexity of her medical needs. Over the span of 15 years, it was anticipated that Milagros would undergo numerous corrective surgeries to address these multifaceted issues. Complicating her situation further, Milagros was diagnosed with a deformed left kidney and an unusually small and low-lying right kidney. This revelation posed a significant threat to her longevity, as her rare condition typically proved fatal for newborns within hours of their birth. Despite these daunting odds, Milagros defied expectations, living to the age of 15. Tragically, her journey came to an end as she awaited a kidney transplant. Number 8. Nadia Ilsa In the heart of Georgia lived a young girl named Nadia Ilsa. From an early age, Nadia faced unwarranted and harsh criticism for her appearance. Classmates would cruelly call her Dumbo because of her protruding ears. This relentless bullying took a toll on her self-esteem, casting a shadow over her school years 
and affecting her willingness to engage socially with her peers. The constant bullying led Nadia and her family to consider a solution that could offer her a new beginning. At just 14 years old, Nadia made a life-altering decision to undergo plastic surgery in hopes of silencing the bullies and reclaiming her confidence. It was a decision born not out of vanity, but desperation for peace and normalcy. Nadia's story caught the attention of the Little Baby Face Foundation, a remarkable organization dedicated to helping children with facial deformities by offering them free corrective surgery. Dr. Thomas Romo, the foundation's founder, saw Nadia's plea for help and decided to take action. The foundation offered to cover all costs for her surgery, a gesture that would pave the way for Nadia's transformation. The procedure was more extensive than initially planned. Along with the otoplasty to pin back her ears, Nadia also received a reduction rhinoplasty to modify her nose and a mentoplasty to alter her chin. This comprehensive approach was aimed not only at addressing her immediate concerns, but also at ensuring harmony and balance in her facial features. The surgery was a success, and the impact was immediate. For the first time in years, Nadia looked in the mirror and saw a reflection that filled her with joy and confidence. The physical changes brought about a profound emotional transformation. She began to carry herself differently, engaging with the world with a newfound confidence. Number 7. Murphy. From the moment he entered the world, Murphy faced a unique medical challenge. Hailing from Little Rock, Arkansas, Murphy captured the attention and concern of his parents, Tripp and Kim Morgan, with an unusually swollen lower lip and a noticeable discoloration on his chin. Initially dismissing it as a benign issue, they soon realized the problem was far from ordinary as Murphy's lip continued to grow alarmingly over time. This prompted a journey of discovery and eventual treatment that would test the family's resilience and hope. Murphy was diagnosed with a venous malformation, an abnormal, non-cancerous cluster of blood vessels, causing his lip to enlarge significantly. This condition not only affected Murphy's appearance, but also attracted unwarranted stares and assumptions from onlookers, adding an emotional toll to the physical ailment. Kim Morgan reflected on the challenging interactions with the public, noting the curiosity and concern their son's condition sparked. In their quest for a solution, Murphy underwent treatments with injections typically used for varicose veins. While these treatments offered some relief, reducing the swelling after 18 months, they were not a definitive cure. The Morgans were faced with the reality that surgery was their only viable option to return Murphy's lip to a more typical size. Embracing this path was fraught with mixed emotions for the Morgans. The family's journey led them to New York City, where they consulted with the esteemed vascular surgeon, Dr. Milton Weiner. The procedure took place at the renowned Manhattan Eye, Ear, and Throat Hospital, marking a pivotal moment in Murphy's young life. Dr. Weiner's surgical strategy involved marking and then meticulously removing a segment of Murphy's swollen lip to address the malformation. The surgery, lasting two hours, was a success, leaving the Morgans overjoyed and immensely grateful for the expertise and care provided by Dr. Weiner and his team. Murphy's transformation post-surgery was remarkable. The successful reduction of his lip size brought not just a significant aesthetic change, but also a new beginning for Murphy and his family. Number 6. Ali Trezis. Ali Trezis's tale unfolds in the picturesque Welsh locale of Maesteg, weaving a narrative reminiscent of a modern-day fairy tale. Ali, a brave young boy, has faced challenges far beyond the ordinary from a very young age due to a rare medical condition. This condition led to his brain expanding through a gap in his skull, resulting in a notably pronounced nose that has led some to draw parallels with the fictional character Pinocchio. Yet, Ollie's story is imbued with a depth and resilience that transcends his physical appearance. From the moment of his birth, Ollie's mother met his unique condition not with dismay, but with an overwhelming sense of love and acceptance. Her immediate and unwavering embrace of Ollie underscored a family ethos of recognizing the intrinsic value of a person beyond mere physical characteristics. Ali's upbringing has been framed by this ethos, with his family steadfastly supporting him and fostering a sense of confidence and pride in his individuality, even in the face of societal challenges. 
As Ali aged, the necessity for surgical intervention became clear, particularly to address difficulties with breathing attributed to his condition. With a heavy heart, but guided by hope, his mother agreed to a critical surgical procedure aimed at correcting the structural issues affecting Ollie's skull and nose. In November 2014, Birmingham Children's Hospital became the setting for this pivotal moment in Ollie's life. The surgery, lasting two hours, was not only a technical success, but also a transformative experience for Ollie, symbolized by the zigzag scar it left behind. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. In this compelling before and after snapshot, we witness an extraordinary metamorphosis achieved through the marvels of reconstructive plastic surgery. The before photo shows a significant facial deformation, which could be due to a congenital condition, trauma, or a medical condition. Fast forward to the after picture, and the transformation is nothing short of miraculous. A new face peers back at us, one that's been reshaped not only by a surgeon's skilled hands, but by a spirit of unwavering courage. This visual narrative celebrates the strides made in medical science and the indomitable will of an individual who has journeyed through profound adversity. Now, we turn to you, our insightful viewers. How does this transformation resonate with you? What do you think this change signifies for the individual's future? And how do you see these medical advancements influencing our society's perception of identity? Share your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comments below. We're eager to hear your take on this inspiring story. Number 5. Bella Harrington Bella Harrington is a girl who at the age of 11 decided to undergo plastic surgery because of a desire to silence the bullies and reclaim her confidence. Bella's journey begins with a struggle that is sadly familiar to many, bullying. From a young age, Bella was subjected to relentless teasing about her ears, which protruded more than most. Nicknamed Dumbo by her peers, the constant ridicule took a toll on her self-esteem, making her everyday life a battle against her own image. For Bella and her family, the decision to undergo plastic surgery wasn't made lightly. It was the culmination of years of pain and the desire for Bella to look in the mirror and feel happy with what she saw. This decision, while controversial to some, represented a beacon of hope for Bella, a chance for a new beginning. At just 11 years old, Bella underwent an autoplasty, a surgical procedure to pin back her ears. The goal was simple, to give Bella a sense of normalcy and the confidence to face the world without fear of ridicule. The surgery was a success, marking the first day of the rest of Bella's life. The transformation was more than just physical. Bella emerged from the surgery with a newfound sense of self-confidence. No longer the target of cruel jokes, she was able to engage with her peers and participate in activities that she had once shied away from. Number 4. Fatima Fatima was born with craniofacial anomalies, including nasal encephalocele, a birth defect marked by a groove running from the forehead to the nose, affecting 1 in 5,000 live births. Compounded by irregularities in her forehead, cheek, and right eye's limited light sensitivity, Fatima's condition required expert medical intervention. Amidst the backdrop of Syria's civil unrest and the ensuing civil war, her family made the heart-wrenching decision to leave their homeland in search of safety and medical care. Fatima's quest for a normal life led her through Lebanon and Turkey, where she underwent three surgeries, each attempting to address her complex condition. However, it wasn't until her family reached the United States that a new chapter in her story began. In America, they found hope in the form of a compassionate medical community eager to support Fatima's journey toward healing. Connecting with a network of specialists, Fatima's family was introduced to Maureen Moore Doyle, RN, at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Doyle, in turn, connected them with a surgeon who had personal experience with plastic surgery. Understanding the profound impact such procedures can have, he committed to helping Fatima. In December 2017, Fatima underwent a groundbreaking procedure, utilizing bone grafts from her skull to reconstruct the right side of her forehead and cheek. Then, in June 2018, a tissue expander was inserted into her forehead, a crucial step towards creating sufficient skin for future surgeries aimed at reconstructing her nose using rib cartilage. Fatima's journey is far from over, with minor touch-ups still on the horizon. Number 3. Hui Kang 
Hui Kong's entry into this world was marked by a medical condition that set him apart. Transverse facial cleft, a rare anomaly, left a significant separation across his face, from his mouth to his ears, akin to wearing a permanent mask. This condition presented Hui Kang and his family with unforeseen challenges, turning their lives into a quest for normalcy and happiness amidst adversity. The quest for a solution led them to the esteemed doctors at the 163 Military Hospital in Changsha, Hunan Province. These dedicated professionals embarked on a mission to reconstruct Hui Kang's facial bones, a task that proved to be daunting at first, with initial attempts falling short of success. The setback was a heavy blow, particularly for Hui Kang's mother, Yi Lian Shi, who was taken aback by her son's condition, especially after undergoing multiple ultrasounds during her pregnancy that showed no signs of abnormalities. Transverse facial cleft affects approximately 1 in 60,000 births and involves deformities related to the first and second branchial arches. However, despair turned into hope as the kindness of strangers through public donations paved the way for Hui Kong to receive surgical interventions. In 2010, Hui Kong underwent two pivotal surgeries that dramatically altered his appearance for the better. These procedures marked the beginning of a long, intricate journey toward recovery, with doctors estimating that it might take a decade or more to fully assess the normalcy of his facial bone growth. Yet the immediate results of the first operation were promising, offering Hui Kong and his family a glimpse into a future filled with potential improvements. Number 2. Didier Montalvo Didier Montalvo is a young boy from Colombia who faced extraordinary challenges from birth. Known to many as Turtle Boy, due to a massive mole that resembled a shell on his back, Didier's life was far from easy. His condition, congenital melanocytic nevus, is rare, affecting one in 20,000 newborns. But Didier's case was among the most severe ever encountered by medical professionals. From a very young age, Didier endured not just the physical discomfort of his condition, which covered more than half his body's circumference and caused severe itching, but also the social isolation that came with it. His community, driven by superstitions, ostracized him and his mother, believing Didier to be cursed due to an eclipse his mother supposedly witnessed during pregnancy. This led to a life of exclusion, preventing Didier from attending school or even being baptized. However, Didier's life began to change when his story was featured in a local newspaper. The article ignited a wave of support and donations, which eventually led to the formation of a medical team willing to undertake the highly complex surgery needed to remove Didier's mole. Leading this team was Neil Bulstrode, a renowned plastic surgeon, who, along with his colleagues, faced the daunting task of operating on Didier, whose condition had reached a critical point where it not only threatened his social integration, but his very life. The surgery was a monumental challenge due to the size and nature of the mole, which had grown to cover three quarters of Didier's body circumference. The team of specialists embarked on a series of intricate skin grafts, a painstaking process that required precision and care. The operation's success was uncertain, but the medical team pressed on, driven by the hope of giving Didier a chance at a normal life. The surgery was a success. The mole that had once defined Didier's existence was removed, marking the end of his ordeal and the beginning of a new chapter in his life. Number 1. Renata Renata is a 15-year-old girl who turned to plastic surgery to escape the relentless bullying she endured because of her appearance. Imagine facing constant ridicule every day at school, to the point where the place that should be a haven for learning feels like walking into a nightmare. This was Renata's reality. Bullied for her facial features, Renata's self-esteem was shattered, and her education was disrupted, leading her family to homeschool her for three years. Seeking a semblance of normalcy and the chance to reclaim her life, Renata and her family made a monumental decision to undergo plastic surgery. This decision was not made lightly. They sought help from Little Baby Face Foundation, a group offering free plastic surgery to kids with facial deformities. This foundation had previously helped Nadia Ilsa, enhancing its reputation. Renata, struggling with hemifacial microsomia, a condition causing her nose to lean to the left, underwent a transformative nose and chin surgery. The procedures aimed not just to alter her appearance, but to give her the confidence she desperately needed. 
The surgeries were successful, but the journey was far from over. Post-surgery, Renata's life changed in ways she could only have imagined. No longer the target of bullying, she found a new sense of confidence. That's all for now. Until next time, bye.